Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at example problems involving spot rates and forward rates. Let's get to it. All right, so here's our first example. Given the following yield curve, find the three-year forward rate F sub three comma four and find the four-year forward rate F sub four comma five. All right, so we wanna calculate two different forward rates in this problem given this table right here, which is referred to as a yield curve, where we have these different spot rates that correspond to different lengths of an investment. We can have a one-year investment, two-year investment, three-year investment, or a four or a five-year investment. And for each of those different years, we have these different spot rates. And in order to find these forward rates using these spot rates in this table, you need to know the formula for calculating an n minus one year forward rate. In other words, a forward rate that takes place between two years that are one year apart, right? This forward rate takes place between year three and year four, and this forward rate takes place between year four and year five. If for some reason those two numbers are not one year apart, but rather two years or three years, then you'll need a different formula than the one I'm going to show you here. This formula right here will allow us to calculate a forward rate F sub n minus one comma n. All right, so it's important to notice here that the difference between these two numbers is just one. We have n and n minus one. That matches up with the two forward rates that we wanna find. We have F sub three comma four, where three is one less than four, and F sub four comma five, where four is one less than five. All right, so to calculate these forward rates, we're going to use this formula that they're equal to the accumulation factor for our spot rate S sub N divided by the accumulation factor for the other spot rate of S sub N minus one. All right, and so in this case, let's start with this forward rate. Let's calculate F sub three comma four. So we have F sub three comma four. This will be equal to the accumulation factor for S sub N, in this case, our N is four. So we're going to be using the spot rate for year four and taking that accumulation factor to the power of four and dividing it by the accumulation factor for S sub N minus one. In this case, N minus one is three. So we will be using our spot rate for year three and take that accumulation factor to the power of three. And then of course we will subtract one. All right, so let's set this up. We're gonna be dividing our accumulation factors and then subtracting one. If we look at our table here, our spot rate S sub three is 5% and our spot rate S sub four is 5.5%. All right, so S sub three equals 5% and S sub four equals 5.5%. Or in decimal form, we would say that that is 0.05 and 0.055. Okay, so here's what we'll have. In the numerator, we'll have one plus S sub N, right? S sub N, which we're saying is S sub four. So we'll have S sub four to the power of four. And then in the denominator, we will have one plus S sub N minus one, which we're saying is S sub three. So we will have S sub three to the power of three. All right, so whenever you're calculating a forward rate that just takes place between two years that are one year apart, you just have the accumulation factor for the spot rate that corresponds to the bigger year divided by the accumulation factor that corresponds to the spot rate for the smaller year. And then you subtract one, okay? That's essentially the shortcut for calculating these forward rates. So let's plug in the values we know and solve for this forward rate. This will be equal to one plus S sub four, which is 0 0.055. So we'll have one plus 0 0.055, which I'm just gonna do right away. We'll have 1.055 and that will be to the power of four. And then we will divide by one plus S sub three, which is 0 0.05. So we'll have 1.05, and that is raised to the power of three. And then we will subtract one. All right, so 1.055 to the power of four divided by 1.05 cubed minus one will give us our final answer that this forward rate is equal to 0 0.07014 and some more decimals which turns out to be a percent of 7.01%. That is the three year forward rate, F sub three comma four. Okay, so that's this forward rate. We have now found F sub three comma four, but we still need to find this forward rate, F sub four comma five. So let's work on that next. To find F sub four comma five, we will take the accumulation factor for the spot rate that corresponds to the bigger number. So we'll have one plus S sub five to the power of five 
divided by the accumulation factor using the spot rate for the smaller number. So we'll have one plus S sub four to the power of four, and then we will subtract one. All right, so S sub five, the spot rate that corresponds to a five-year term is 6%. So I'll underline that with this color. S sub five is equal to 6%, which is 0 0.06. And then we already know what S sub four is. We used that in our last calculation. We'll need that for the denominator here. S sub four is still 5.5%. So I'll write that down again. S sub four is equal to 5.5%, which is still equal to 0 0.055. All right, so we have S sub four comma five. And so if we plug in those spot rates, we can calculate this forward rate. We will have that this is equal to one plus S sub five, and S sub five is 0 0.06. So we'll have 1.06 to the power of five divided by one plus S sub four, which is 5.5% or 0 0.055. So we'll have 1.055 to the power of four, and then we will subtract one. And if you plug this into your calculator, you will find that this forward rate is equal to 0 0.08023 and some more decimals or 8.02%. That is the value of the forward rate from year four to year five. All right, it's 0 0.08023 or 8.02%. And so now we have fully completed this problem. We have found both of the forward rates that we needed to find. Let's take a look at another example. All right, so here's our second example. For the yield curve below, find the spot rate S sub two if it is known that the forward rate F sub two comma three is equal to 4.2 percent. All right, and so you can see in this table here, which is referred to as the yield curve, has spot rates for different terms, but we're missing one, which is the spot rate that corresponds to a two-year term. And so how can we find that spot rate given a forward rate? Well, since we know the value of a forward rate that includes year two, right, this is the forward rate from year two to year three, we would actually call this the two-year forward rate, we can set up the equation that would have been used to calculate this forward rate and solve for S sub two, because S sub two is going to be within that formula, right? So once again, here's our formula. Let's set this up for F sub two comma three. We know that F sub two comma three will be equal to one plus S sub three cubed divided by one plus S sub two squared minus one right, the accumulation factor for the spot rate that corresponds to this last number. So we have S sub three quantity cubed, and then we divide by the accumulation factor for the spot rate that corresponds to that first number, S sub two, and that quantity is squared. Now we know what S sub three is, that's right here in our table, the spot rate for year three. And so I'll underline that. We know that S sub three is equal to 3.8%, which in decimal form is 0 0.038. And so we can plug that value in for S sub three and plug in this value for our forward rate right here and then solve for S sub two. All right, and as a decimal, this 4.2%, that is the same as 0 0.042. So here's what we'll have. We'll have 0 0.042 is equal to one plus 0 0.0 three, eight, right? We're adding one to S sub three, but we can just add those together right now. We'll have 1.038. So let me just rewrite this. We'll have 1.038 cubed divided by one plus S sub two squared. We don't know what S sub two is. We're trying to solve for it. And then we will have minus one. All right, now the first thing that we need to do to solve for S sub two is add one to both sides of the equation. So if we do that, we'll have 1.042 is equal to 1.038 cubed divided by one plus S sub two squared. Now the next thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides of the equation by this quantity of one plus S sub two squared. That way we can get S sub two into the numerator of one side of the equation. And at the same time that I do that, I'm also going to divide both sides of the equation by 1.042. So that will take us to our next step right here which will be one plus S sub two squared is equal to 1.038 cubed divided by 1.042. All right, so I multiplied both sides by this quantity. So we would have 1.042 times this quantity is equal to 1.038 cubed. 
but then I divided both sides by 1.042, so now we're just left with 1 plus s sub 2 squared is equal to this quantity divided by 1.042. All right, now if we take the square root of both sides, we'll be closer to solving for s sub 2. We'll have 1 plus s sub 2 is equal to the square root of 1.038 cubed divided by 1.042. And then if you take the square root of this expression and subtract 1, we can solve for s sub 2. So if you plug this into your calculator, if you take the square root of 1.038 cubed divided by 1.042 and subtract 1, you will find that s sub 2 is equal to 0 0.036, which turns out to be 3.6%. That is the spot rate s sub 2 that was originally unknown in this table. Okay, let's take a look at one more example for this video. All right, so here's our last example. Here we have that the spot rate for year k is given by the equation s sub k is equal to 0 0.07 plus 0 0.002k minus 0.001k squared. Find the three year forward rate, f sub three comma four, implied by this yield curve. And of course that is referring to this equation right here. This equation would represent the yield curve for this scenario. Given a particular year k, we could find the spot rate that corresponds to that year or the length of a term that lasts k years. All right, so if we want to find the three year forward rate f sub three comma four, we're going to need two spot rates, right? If you remember our formula, we're going to need the spot rate that corresponds to that first number, n minus one, and the spot rate that corresponds to that second number, n. So we're going to need a spot rate that corresponds to year three and the spot rate that corresponds to year four. If we have those two spot rates, we can use this formula to calculate that three year forward rate. Okay, so here's what we have to find. We need to find s sub three, we need to know what that's equal to, and we need to find s sub four. We need to know what that is equal to. All right, we need the spot rate for year three and the spot rate for year four. And finding those rates is actually going to be pretty simple because all we're saying with each of these spot rates is that for this equation, k is equal to three or k is equal to four. So to find s sub three, we'll just plug in three for each of these k's in this equation. And for s sub four, we'll just plug in four for each of these k's. So here's what we'll have. s sub three will be equal to 0 0.07 plus 0 0.002 times three minus 0 0.001 times three squared. And then for s sub four, we'll have 0 0.07 plus 0 0.002 times four minus 0 0.001 times four squared. Okay, now three squared is nine and four squared is 16. So let me just rewrite that. Three squared is just nine and four squared is just 16. So we'll have 16. So we'll have 0 0.07 plus 0 0.002 times three minus 0 0.001 times nine. So that will look like this. This is equal to 0 0.07 plus 0 0.006 minus 0.009. So if you add these decimals together, you'll have 0.076, and then we're subtracting 0.009. So if I line them up, we'll have 0.076 minus 0.009. 76 minus 9 is 67. So this gives us 0.067. So S sub 3 is equal to 0.067. And then for S sub 4, this will be equal to 0 0.07 plus 0 0.008, right? We're multiplying four by 0 0.002, and then we're subtracting 0 0.016 because we're multiplying 16 by 0 0.001. Now 0 0.07 plus 0 0.008 will be 0 0.078. So if we line this up, we'll have 0 0.078 minus 0 0.016, and 78 minus 16 is 62, so we'll have 0 0.062. All right, so that's going to be S sub four. Our spot rate for year four is 0 0.062. Okay, so now that we have S sub three and S sub four, we can calculate this forward rate, F sub three comma four, the three year forward rate. So let's do that. We'll have that F sub three comma 
4 is equal to 1 plus s sub 4 to the power of 4 divided by 1 plus s sub 3 to the power of 3. And then don't forget to subtract 1. Now s sub 4 is equal to 0 0.062. So we'll have 1 plus 0 0.062, which will be 1.062. And then s sub 3 is 0 0.067. So we'll have 1.067. All right, so if you take 1.062 to the power of 4 and divide it by 1.067 to the power of 3 and subtract 1, you will find that this forward rate is equal to 0 0.04714 and some more decimals, or 4.71%. That is the forward rate that we wanted to calculate in this problem. The three-year forward rate F sub three comma four is 4.71%. Okay, and so with that, this was the last example for this video, but if you do wanna see another example, I do have one more available on my membership site. And so if that's something that you are interested in seeing, I would encourage you to look into my membership site. You'll also get access to dark mode versions of most of my videos, which means that instead of this white background that you see in this video here, it'll be a black background and generally white writing and the colors will look a little bit different, but it is basically a dark mode version of all of my videos where the colors have been inverted. All right, so I'd encourage you to check that out. But with that, that's it for this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. But if you don't have any questions, this is all I had for now. So I will see you next time.